Sara and Katie are back with a mission to sneak lots and lots of candy into class. Enjoy watching their funny adventure, but when you return to classes, leave your candies behind and opt for something healthy instead. doesn't love those chewy, fruit-flavored taffy candy. They're so yum and we can sneak them in class right on our notebook cover. However, we need to choose the right color scheme. These bright colored candies are very obvious on the rather pastel colored notebook. Let's switch them up for some pastel Starburst taffies instead. Stick the yummy sweets on the notebook using a bit of double-sided tape and boom, the candy suddenly looks like it's a part of a notebook pattern. Pink and yellow wrappers are the same shade as the rainbows on the notebook, which creates a perfect camouflage. No one will notice that you're actually smuggling taffies on your notebook cover, especially from far away. And when you feel a bit hungry, just take your candy off the cover and pop one into your mouth. Sometimes a delicious fruity boost of energy is all we need in the middle of a long teacher's lesson. If you feel like having a chocolate instead of candy, no problem. Take a large thin coloring pencil case like this one. Remove all the coloring pencils and replace them with chocolate. But let's make this creation a bit more sneaky. Place coloring pencils on a flat surface close together and take a picture. Print the picture and cut it out with scissors so you end up with something like this. Place the printed coloring pencils on top of your chocolates and voila, we're ready to sneak them in class. You can of course put any kind of chocolate in this thin pencil case. We could literally fit a whole big chocolate bar in here. If you're a fan of Kinder chocolates, go for those. I love these small ones that come in variety of different flavors, from strawberry to white chocolate, cookie, and so on. Just make sure to not eat it all at once. A small treat here and there is perfectly fine, but it should never replace your healthy and nutritious meals. Teacher may have taken away our cotton candy earlier, but she's definitely not messing with us this time around. Print a slightly curved picture of water or similar drink-related theme. Wrap it around the cotton candy container and secure in place with a piece of tape. A water bottle also needs a straw. Take one and cut away a small piece like this. Using a glue gun, stick the short straw on the lid of your cotton candy water bottle and there we have it. A huge sneaking class approved jug of cotton candy. It really doesn't go any sweeter than this, right? To everyone around, this looks like a usual water bottle, but only me and you know that it's actually filled up to the top with delicious cotton candy. Mine is apple flavored, as you can tell by the green color, and it is so yummy. I am obsessed. Why can't a salad taste? like this, right? <laughs> There's so much sweet goodness in here, so make sure to share it with all your classmates. Sara, what are you eating there? This? This is my water bottle because one's gotta keep hydrated, it's super important. You're absolutely right. Cheers! This is not a normal post-it notes cube. No, no, it's full of thin minty chocolates. Yummy! Take a notes cube and lift a few of the top pages. Using an X-Acto knife, make a cut through a few of the pages like this and remove the cutout pieces. Fill the newly created empty space with a thin minty chocolate. Do this along the entire notes cube as you can see here. How cool, right? A post-it notes cube filled with delicious chocolatey treats. Candy school supplies are definitely my kind of school supply. This one was so easy to make and the minty chocolates are just too good to be true. When you're feeling a bit hungry, just grab one of those and you're good to go. You can even switch these chocolates with crackers or other similarly shaped snacks. Yum yum! The good old love heart, an iconic candy that is a favorite of so many people. Here's a super easy way to sneak it in class. Take an empty non-toxic glue stick and wash the container super duper well. Make sure it is completely clean before proceeding to the next step, which is filling the glue tube with a bunch of love hearts. When it's completely full, pop the lid back on and 
and we're ready to go to school. This packaging is so much more convenient than the original Love Hearts wrapping, right? And since Love Hearts are white just like glue, there's no way anyone could suspect that you're actually carrying candy in your glue stick container. This paperclip package looks like a perfect container to sneak some yumminess into class. Take out all the paper clips and fill the pot with candy of your choice. I'm going for Reese's peanut butter cups. The lid has a little transparent opening. Cover it with a bunch of clips and place a cardboard circle on top. This will hold the paper clips up so that they don't fall into our peanut butter cup. On the outside, this creation looks like a regular pack of paper clips. However, we know that there's something way more delicious hiding inside. Which Reese's cup do you prefer? The regular or white chocolate? One. I love white chocolate in general, but lately I've been avoiding it because it tends to be way more sweet, so I'd have to go for regular. breadsticks dipped in Nutella. Honestly, I don't know if there's anything better than that. Yep, we gotta find a way to sneak it in class. Grab some acrylic paint in any color of your choice. I went for blue. What a shocker, right? <laughs> Take a packet of Picnic and cover it all around with the acrylic paint. You may need one or two coats depending on how opaque your paint is. Wait for the paint to dry completely and now we can transform the delicious picnic snack into a pencil holder. Open it up and place a few pens or pencils in the compartment where you have breadsticks. From teacher's perspective, this awesome creation will look like a normal pencil pot. However, you'll be able to snack on yummy chocolate covered breadsticks during lessons. So delicious and incredibly sneaky. Just make sure to keep the noise level down as the crunchy sounds may attract teacher's attention. What can we place inside this packet of stapler pins? Actually, whatever we want, as long as it's small and sweet. Open up the package and take out all the stapler pins. Now we can fill up the free space with lots of small candy like these fruity Tic Tac drops. <laughs> Yummy in my tummy. This looks delicious and it's super convenient to take to school. What Tic Tacs do you prefer? Fruit flavored or mint ones? I'm all about the fruity ones, especially the orange flavor. I used to adore them when I was little and I love them just as much today. You may wonder, what possibly can we sneak in class with a simple ruler like this one? Well, when there's will, there's way. These candy stripes are perfect for the occasion. All we need to do is stick them on the back of the ruler with a piece of double-sided tape. I can fit three on there, but of course, stick as many as you can. This fruity taffy candy is so juicy and delicious. Another one of my childhood staples. They come in so many different flavors and I'm still loving every single one of them. Today we're going for the apple flavor and oh yes, this is just as good as I remember from years ago. I could eat a ton of them, but I won't because remember what we agreed before. A little treat a day is okay, but we should definitely not overdo it. This empty glue bottle looks like a perfect container to smuggle something delicious to school. But what can we put inside? I have an idea. Make sure to wash your glue tube extra well. I cannot stress this enough. It is extremely important that the bottle is completely clean. Now it's time to grab your favorite liquid candy and squeeze it into the glue container. I went for the blue raspberry flavor and I wish you guys could smell it. It's so amazing. I feel like I'm getting sugared out just by the sweet yummy smell. When the bottle is completely full, put the lid on and ta-da! The squeeze can candy glue is finished. I like how sleek this packaging is. You can just store it in your pencil case. This way it's always on hand and available for a quick sweet snack. Perfect for when you need a bit of energy boost. But this thing is super thick and sweet, so you only need a little, okay? Deal. <gasps> These notepads are way too ordinary and boring. Come on, I'll show you a much more special one. Take an old notepad like this and tear out all the pages. Now grab a Kit Kat. Stick it to the back cover of your notepad. I still have some space left so I can stick on another chocolate bar. Because the more Kit Kats, the better, right? Close the notepad and there we go. Easy peasy and totally sneaky. The notepad looks completely ordinary on the outside, but when you open it up, you discover a sweet surprise.
When you start to feel a bit hungry in school, you can just reach for your notepad and take a piece of Kit Kat. Mmm, this is so tasty! I love it because it's not overly sweet and the wafer inside gives it that delicious crunch. Taking gum to school is always a risky business. All the classmates usually want a piece and before you notice, your packet is completely empty. Here's a fun way to hide your gum from everyone around. Take a packet of gum tape and apply a bit of hot glue on one side. Stick it to the inside of the large pencil case like this one and voila, you have a sneaky gum always available just for yourself. Sharing with your friends is always a nice thing to do, but it's cool to have a bit selfish option from time to time too, am I right? Here we have a bunch of small candy drops, pop rocks, tic tacs and other delicious treats. All of these are so tiny, so they shouldn't be hard to sneak in class, right? Correct! I have an awesome idea how to do it. Take a marker and pull out the ink tube plus the tip. Wash it really, really well. Now choose your small candy of choice. Pop rocks are such a fun and yummy treat, so I'm going for those. When you put this candy into your mouth, it melts like a hard candy and releases the bubbles with a loud pop. This comes in a variety of different colors and today I'm feeling the blue one, which tastes like cotton candy. Open it up and pour these cool popping babies in the back of your marker. Seal the opening with the lid and you're good to go! When you're bored during classes, you can simply pour some of that goodness in your mouth and let the fun begin. These are seriously so much fun, but the popping is pretty loud, so beware because the teacher may hear you. They're definitely great to pull a fun little prank on the teacher, but I think the best idea is to wait and enjoy your pop rocks during breaks instead. Open your mouth! Is Katie eating her glue stick? Of course not, it's the delicious white chocolate. Open up your white chocolate bar. I just wanna eat it straight away, but no, no, not today. Put a few pieces in a double boiler and wait for the chocolate to melt completely. How flipping delicious does this look? My mouth is watering so much because white chocolate is just my thing, you know? Pour the melted chocolate in a completely clean glue stick container and wait for it to set and harden. As you can see, this looks exactly like a normal glue stick because of the white color. And it's so cool how you can use the twist wheel to get more chocolate out of the tube. <laughs> Super convenient. Someone needs to start making chocolate with this kind of packaging. Seriously, this one looks totally legit, so you can definitely prank your classmates and make them believe that you're eating glue when you're indulging with some tasty white chocolate instead. I bet they would be so confused. Out of the small chocolates, Ferrero Rocher has to be my favorite one, so I had to find a way to sneak it in class with me. Remove the brown paper and the top sticker. Take a glue gun and apply a drop of hot glue on the golden wrapper. While the glue is still hot, stick this rounded chocolate goodness on a pencil like that. Every pencil looks cuter with a topper. But when your topper looks pretty and also tastes delicious, then you know that this is just a winning combination. Seriously, check out how adorable this looks. And the best part is that they taste divine. No more hungry hours in class for us. When your tummy starts making rumbly noises, just take one of those off the pencil, unwrap it, bite in and enjoy. How can this be so delicious? I'm in heaven. If you're more into fruity candy than chocolate, here's a hack perfect for you. Take a pencil and pull the eraser out. Squeeze a bit of hot glue in the opening like this. While the glue is still hot, take a lollipop of your choice. Which flavor would you pick? I'm going for orange today. Snip off majority of the plastic lollipop stick so you only have a little bit left. Stick it into the hot glue and boom, your lollipop pencil is ready. Studying and learning is so much more enjoyable when you can snack up on something delicious like a fruity lollipop, right? And this is a perfect solution for when you want to have this sweet option during lessons as well. The lollipop looks like a pencil topper, but a way more delicious version. Mmm, another one of my favorite chocolate bars is Duplo, so sneak it in in class is a must. 
take a pencil holder and fill half of it with this tasty chocolate. Yay, we fit all of them in here, enough for you and all your classmates. We still have some empty space left and this is where we're gonna place a bunch of coloring pencils and other pens. From the teacher's viewpoint, this looks like a usual pencil pot filled with coloring pencils. But on the other side, we have yummy chocolates always available for a quick and tasty snack. Duplo is another one of those classic bars that take me right to my childhood. They were a bit different looking back then with three bumps and a hazelnut inside each of them. Anyone else remembers them like that? But nonetheless, I must admit this version is just as great. Next up is a very fun and creative way of sneaking taffy sticks in class. Take a rounded coloring pencil like this one. Cut it into three pieces using a knife or a saw. Take a piece of paper in the same color as your coloring pencil. For me, it's orange and stick the pencil pieces in two corners. Take one, unwrap it, mmm, smells delicious, and place it on the paper between the two pencil parts. Finally, roll your candy pencil up to wrap it in paper. Here we have it. Our coloring pencil looks completely normal, but only we know that a yummy taffy candy is hiding inside. Delicious! What a fun and creative idea! 100% sneaking class approved! This pencil looks exactly like all the others but is hiding a tasty treasure inside. Here we also have a green one and it's time to try it right now! Oh yes, this is as delicious as it can get! You know when you're so hungry and just wanna eat everything that crosses your path? Like this necklace for example! bad idea. But you can make a necklace that is completely edible. Tie some gummy candy onto a thread. I use this sour peach circle and four other fruit flavored gummies. You can use any candy you like as long as they have a hole so they're easy to tie up. This is how my finished product looks like. A cute fashion statement and an epic sweet snack in one. I love how customizable this one is and you can use any kind of your favorite gummies. My personal favorite are sour ones. What about yours? In any case, this sweet necklace is a super convenient accessory for when you need a quick tasty treat. Looks like Katie loves edible accessories as well. To make a delicious marshmallow bracelet, you need a thread, needle, and a bunch of mini marshmallows. Lead the needle through the marshmallows to stack them up on a thread like this. When your row of marshmallows is long enough to fit your wrist, remove the needle and you can tie the yummy bracelet on. Looks adorable and tastes even better. When hunger creeps in, you can simply take a bite of your bracelet and you're good to go. People sometimes call bracelets and other accessories are candy. And this creation is exactly that, a literal candy on on your arm. <laughs> Not again, poor teacher. Remember guys, a small sugary treat here and there is okay, but on general, healthy food is the way to go. Wish you an amazing school year and I'll see you soon. Bye!